It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up L.A. Unscripted? <laughs> city, diverse communities, and of course, the sports teams that make LA one of the best cities in the world. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and like the song says, I love LA. Woo! And I especially <laughs> love going off hat. script like yes. I do. Here we go. In hand. this new show, thank uh -huh. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This, is, by the way, is about as big perfect. as my real hand. Perfect. Oh my God, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> And of course, I'm not the only one who likes to color outside the lines. Now, a one-time Dodger reveals a home run talent that has nothing to do with baseball. Ready? Batter up. Hi, I'm Micah Johnson. I used to be with the Los Angeles Dodgers, but now I want to reveal what I'm doing off the field. I started playing baseball when I was four and got drafted when I was 21 out of college. My path here to LA came to fruition in 2016 uh, when I got traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers and coincidentally that's when I discovered my passion for painting. This was one of the rare girls that I've done. I really, really enjoyed this one with the different kind of tones and it's very vibrant. For me, my creative process now is very similar to when I was playing. When you play baseball, your hands are everything. So when you're throwing a baseball, the way you hold the ball is very important. I've developed a style that is strictly just my hands. And it wasn't up, up until recently that I really discovered my passion and the message I was trying to convey with my art, um, which is portraits. I think portraits, especially of young children, um, can kind of really inspire people. Um, it kind of bring us back to those times when we had big lofty dreams as kids and weren't afraid to dream. And with this one, I really wanted to just give it this raw emotion. Here he is looking up into the sky, kind of symbolic for his dreams. Like a couple months ago, I unfortunately heard that my nephew had asked his mom if astronauts could be black. Uh, you know, I didn't want him to feel discouraged, so I started painting him with astronaut stuff on and astronaut helmets and just so that he could see himself in an astronaut light. It's Weston kind of like getting ready to take care of the next generation. It's kind of like just passing that down. Like it's black males, it's like we're looking out after each other and the generations to come. You know, these works, I hope they inspire my four nephews and then as well as my daughter and, and other kids out there. You can do this. I have a lot of hope that, you know, these kids that I'm painting are gonna make this world a way better place than, uh, than we definitely did. So talented. Micah's works will be on display through the end of September over at the Art Angels Gallery in West Hollywood, and they're available for purchase, and you can always check out his pieces on Instagram at Micah underscore Johnson3 as well. Welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Budapest, the south of France. Oh, I am honored. I am so excited to be in the presence of a global beauty entrepreneur, also a celebrity makeup artist. We have Shalini Badera here today. Thank you for having me in your home. This is Santa Clarita. It's beautiful. There's water. I'm obsessed. I'm so happy to have you oh, in my thank home. You. Thank, thank you, you so much. You obviously are an author as well. Just talk to me about how you got here and how you got into the beauty industry. I grew up in San Diego, okay. traveled my whole life, Love and that. when I was in college, I got a part-time job at the Clinique counter, and I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. But the first customer I had, the next day I got flowers and a card from her husband saying, my wife's going through cancer, you put a smile on her face, thank you. And I'm like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I ended up creating a women's platform called Power Beauty Living, and within a year I launched globally at the United Nations. Yeah. And it's just kind of led me into creating my new brand, Ready, Set, Jet, using beauty as a vehicle for global change. To I love that, and I love where you're at is like you can get down to the nitty gritty of like how to actually fix, say, acne because of these masks that we're, we're needing to wear, but you can also help give back to an entire country and empower women. 
world has these incredible beauty secrets and a lot of it's done by food. So tomatoes are one of the most inexpensive okay. natural ways to get rid of maskne or acne if you have any type of problem secret. They're high in acidic value, yeah. high in vitamins. So what these women do is they actually just cut a tomato in half and they rub it on their skin. How long do you leave the you tomato just, juice, right, yes, on your face? I sleep with it on. And how does your husband feel about that? Is he like, oh, he's like, like tomato wow, juice. are we having pasta in bed? <laughs> this is so great. And potatoes are a Spanish beauty secret to hmm. combating dark circles. So what you want to do is take a potato, okay. do a thin slice, and so you can literally just half moon it under Ooh. your eye and just lay back for about five to 10 minutes and let it just do its magic. So potatoes have petulose and all these incredible enzymes that actually fade pigmentation. Oh. This is literally Beauty Simplified. Like This is a brand that I created when the government of India had asked me to come help the girls. So this is literally beauty with a purpose. Part of the proceeds are gonna go to helping to train these girls to be the next generation of beauty wow. entrepreneurs. What I love about it is you can do your entire face in three batons. So wow. each side has two to four uses. So you're doing a minimalistic beauty, you're getting all these great marine botanicals for the skin, and part of the proceeds go to educating the next generation of girls that are underprivileged, which I love. So. Hashtag you're amazing. Thank you so much. Show Hashtag I love I you. Give you a hug. Hashtag I love you too. <laughs> BFFs, another elbow. There's so much to discover. Coming up, my NASCAR dare to push the pedal to the metal. Healthy Vibes is going to new heights. But first, LA Unscripted has backyard beauty tips and helpful hacks. Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. So this is the hack is I'm gonna twist it like this. So then it has, has like a new growth. And then I'm just gonna braid in some new hair. So this is great for regrowth and adding a little flair to your box braids when you've had them a long time and you just want something different, add a little color. The blonde piece as one and then the, the pink as two. I'm just gonna take them back like this. I'm gonna tie the braid. You could do whatever you want to make it stay. You don't have to do your hair so often when you have braids, especially box braids, because you're not having to style it every day. Don't forget to fill out the census. Make sure we count Los Angeles. National Census Day, everyone. I made that up, but did you fill out the census? Yes? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's the deadline? So the deadline is September 30th. September 30th. Honestly, we have to get going, so I'm gonna go. Okay. Skate. I'm gonna go skate. Okay. By land. By sea. Hello, Long Beach. Have you filled out your census? No, you didn't sign up. But but you know why it's really important? Because all of our funding for California comes from the census, right? It's only 10 minutes of your life, but it literally impacts California for the next 10 years. Sean is filling out the census. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do it now. All right, and I'm gonna submit. Yay, yay, I did it, yay, I did it, yay. Ten. Everybody dated Devin, just filled out her census. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Would you, do, would you, you like to fill out the census? Welcome back to the premiere week of LA Unscripted, where anything can happen, and it does, especially since producers thought me fielding dares from you would be a great way to discover LA. For this one, I just had to take KTLA's Lou Parker along with me. Are you ready? I'm ready. I mean, kinda ish. Oh. 
it is time. It's go time, we say. Would it be inappropriate to say I think I need a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Sexy sh sh <laughs> 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 Slide that on over your head. Yeah, the steering wheel's always good. Yeah, details. Push the button in. Oh, looking good. Look at you. All right. You know, I feel so bad about dropping that helmet because it cracked and it can never be used again. Oh, but can you use the knowledge that you got from that shoot with Miss oh. Lou Parker. Oh, let's see. For a little quiz. Okay. You ready for this, D? No, but okay. let's go. Okay, we're gonna play a game. <laughs> okay, not multiple choice. And I'm going to test your racing knowledge. Okay. We're calling it burning rubber or burning man. <laughs> right? Okay, so okay. I'm gonna say a term. You have to tell me if it refers to car racing or slings from a music festival. Okay, okay. okay. Ready for this? Yes. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Slingshot. Burning man or burning rubber? Burning rubber. Ding, ding, ding! Gosh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do a little description here. Okay. So it's when a driver pulls out of the draft and shoots past the cars in the low line using the power in reserve from being in the draft. Or me going to a shoe sale. Yes! Yes, yes. Shot. yes. exactly. Okay. Okay, blister. Mm. Oh, that's definitely burning rubber. Mm. Gosh. Unless it's from your shoes from walking around at a festival, but I'm going with burning rubber. Okay, well, a bubble that forms on a tire due to extreme heat. We get those in LA. We do get those yeah. in LA. Uh, do we get these? White out. White out. Um, that's college, but no, um, I'm guessing <laughs> that Burning Man. Black out. Burning Man. Yeah, Black. yeah, burning yeah. Man. good job. It is Burning Man. Okay. Good job, do you wanna what know is what that it? means? Okay, when the wind whips into a violent dust storm and you can't see more than an inch or two in front of you, at least one big dust storm happens each and every year. Did you know that? No. No, we're learning so many things here. No, but that uh, happens in Texas too, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, cockpit. Oh, burning rubber. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I even had to question that. The area in which the driver sits in the car. There you go. Duh. Um, a fluffer. What's a fluffer? Um, there's actually a few things <laughs> for fluffer that we shouldn't talk about, but I'm going to go with Burning Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a fluffer's Burning Man. Okay, that's when volunteers, referred to as fluffers, bring water, sunscreen, give massages, TLC to artists, fellow campers, performers, all other volunteers, that sort of thing. I think you need a fluffer. You've done a lot. You, the show, the launch, all of it. There's also another definition, but we're gonna move on. Yeah, how about to a pickleback? Pickleback. Come on. I'm gonna go Burning Man. Yeah, okay. hashtag college. I mean, okay, there we go. It's a shot of whiskey, of course, chased, chased by pickle juice. Have you, do you like picklebacks? I like pickle juice. I okay, like pickles. That, uh, do you like whiskey? Except for I get a little bloated, just like yeah. today. A lot a of salt. Bloated. Yeah. All right, how about groove? I mean, that's gotta be burning rubber. Yes. Okay. The line that offers the fastest way around the track. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is interesting. I didn't know any of this. So interesting. We can keep going here. All right, here we go. Exodus. Exodus is when free food comes in the newsroom and we all <laughs> run out to get it. Yes, the that's great what. Exodus. But if I had to guess, I'd probably go Burning Man. Yes. Here we go. At the festival's end, everyone's got to leave, whether they want to or not. That's the Exodus. <laughs> out. Get out. It's like get a it. bar. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go Last home. call. Yeah. Go. All right. Dirty air. I mean, it's got to be the newsroom, but also <laughs> burning rubber. Excuse me. We can't tell. Like the worst rap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, burning rubber, turbulence created by airflow coming off of all cars. Okay. Okay. Uh, trash vents? I mean, it's gotta be. You know what? I actually think it might be burning rubber. N trash fence is burning man. Okay. You well, wanna know why I like this one? It's set I have up a trash fence in my room, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's set up along the perimeter of burning man to prevent inevitable, inevitable garbage waste from traveling into the nearby mountain range and surrounding nature. Now that's interesting. I would have, you know, you see sometimes see like things stacked up on car race things. I thought yes. it was that. You know oh, what I'm talking about? Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and you <laughs> are wrong. Good job. You did great. It was fun. Overall, it was okay. It was great. I mean, I still think I got an A. <laughs> no prize for you, girlfriend. <laughs> all right, we're out of time now. Coming up, why am I all tied up in Liberty Chan's backyard? It's my favorite story we've done ever. But right now, another backyard beauty tip with Brooke. Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. So Maya, she has a lot of curly hair and it's amazing, but sometimes you get kind of bored with curly hair, you don't know what to do with it. So a fun little look is where I take the bangs 
and just kind of leave those out. Don't have to do anything fancy, just kind of get some hair and we're gonna do a messy bun on top. And just kind of switch up her look. So then we'll add some bobby pins at the end and it will give it just like a fun, fresh, new look. Life Unscripted feels so good, right? But then, not that good when we did this next story. Oh, you loved it. <laughs> we did our Healthy Vibes aerial workout. It was amazing. She loves it. I have one word. Begins with a V and ends with Amit. <laughs> you loved it. You loved it. What in the world? What kind yes. of yoga shenanigans oh, yeah. do we have going oh, yeah. on right here? I'm a circus yogi, so I do circus mixed with yoga, acro yoga, aerial yoga. Aerial yoga is with a sling piece of fabric. You can use it to either make yoga poses more simple or more complex. Is this for everybody? It actually acts as a support, so it makes classical yoga poses like tree pose more accessible. So when you go to balance, you have support, um, but you can also tone it up if you did want to like work on your strength training, but you can take it at levels. So for this one, we're gonna spread open the fabric. Okay. So grab one edge of it, give a little dance, have a little dance with it. Yes, that's what <laughs> we're looking for. Just two peas in a pod. Hang it out on LA Unscripted. So we're gonna start with the straddle back butterfly inversion. Oh. Knees are gonna tuck in like a froggy ball. Froggy. Yep. And we're gonna hold them both, and then we're gonna straighten our arms, and our head's gonna come back as our legs stay wide and open. <laughs> What is this graceful? You is this a graceful? Is this elegant? Do I look like Liberty? Ready, Liberty? Second move is our superhuman. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna hold our hands at eye level. Same thing, you're used to it, the froggy ball, butterfly inversion. Eat the fabric with this knee pit. to eat the fabric with this knee pit. What do you mean eat it? And kick this leg out like a ninja kick. Kick, kick. it out. Yes. What? More. Kick it that Wait, way. Wait, like this? Yep. Kind of like that. Wait. Almost like that. <laughs> is this right? So much great. Is this yes. right? <laughs> this is, am I doing it? You are doing are it. Are you sure? Yes. You know, we're all in quarantine. We're all pretty much staying at home. How does someone get this in their house? Is it safe? It's easily transportable and can be set up in your backyard. Um, yeah, you can do private lessons. This is your artistic expression. Oh. We just need music. She's a pink cheetah. Am I doing something? We shall call Why it the Dana. It? I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? Get me out. <laughs> what? The? Ow. Ow. Get the house, babies, already, because that ship is now sailed. I am literally stuck. No, I am legit stuck. I'm not even playing. So what could we get wrapped up in tomorrow? I heard that Megan dared you to eat all those weird foods. All right, so this is the cookie challenge. Okay. Get a cookie, put it on your face, and then try to work all your angles and your chins, not yours, mine, <laughs> <laughs> and see who gets it in their mouth first. Just get another and start over. Okay, you ready? Okay, no. Go. Go. Oh, shit, I oh. thought I had something there, okay. So 
those like internet food challenges. Oh, the internet food challenge, yeah. And I'm gonna now dare you to do it. So we're gonna do something called the chubby bunny as we say goodbye. So here's how you do it. You put as many marshmallows as possible in your mouth in and mouth. then you still try to say chubby bunny. Chubby that's bunny. Two. Chubby okay. bunny. Okay, three. Chubby <laughs> bunny. Well, that's pretty good. Four, four. 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 Okay, four. Okay. Four. 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 Okay, keep four. going. Four. Five. <laughs> chubby bunny. Everybody. All right, you guys, as we say goodbye, Brooke has one more backyard beauty tip and helpful hack. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. <laughs> Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. One simple solution right now, which is really common, is that when you are wearing your mask, your ears get sore. And so we found the perfect little tip for that. I would say it's for people that would wear their mask all day. So your ears are gonna be sore when you wear your mask all day, obviously. So you take one of these clips, Whatever you want that will hold the little piece behind your ear. This is really cute and gives you a little fashion. And you clip it behind the ear right here so it's not right on your ear, but right behind it. And it will actually hold your mask on a little tighter too, if you want that. 